हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर प्रगति जाधव एंड आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन द एक्सपेरिमेंट थर्मोकपल सो हियर द एम ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू डिटरमाइन द रूम टेम्परेचर एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ अननोन टेम्परेचर एट गिवन रीडिंग ऑफ ई एम एफ हेयर एपराटस फॉर दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट आर थर्मोकपल मल्टीमीटर टू ग्लास बीकर एंड प्लेट हीटर सो दिस इज द डायग्राम फॉर द एक्सपेरिमेंट सो हेयर वी हैव टेकन two beakers one beaker containing hot water and another beaker beaker containing cold water the two junctions of the thermocouple are dipped into the hot water and the cold cold water respectively here thermometer is also dipped into the beaker containing hot water so in this experiment the observations are room temperature which will uh, we record with the help of thermometer before heating this water and the given emf is e is equal to 1.5 milli volt so for us to know how to do this experiment so in this experiment as one junction of thermocouple is dipped into the hot water and another junction is dipped into the cold water here tempera there is temperature difference between these two junctions and this temperature difference is recorded as a voltage in this multimeter so thermocouple is the device which records the temperature in terms of voltage and which is a dc voltage so in this experiment uh, this is the observation table in which uh, we have to record uh, we have to first heat the water up to around 100 or 95 degrees celsius and by uh, we have to record the readings for after each 5 degree of decrease of this temperature that is one has to record the emf uh, for the 95 degrees celsius whatever will be the emf let's say it will be 2.4 millivolt again after decrease of 5 degrees celsius there is temperature is 90 degrees celsius and emf will be say 2.3 millivolt so in this way one has to record the temperature up to 30 degrees celsius and here the emf will be around 0.32 to 0.4 millivolt so in this way one has to record the readings then one has to plot this reading and the nature of graph is linear here emf is plotted along y axis and temperature is plotted along x axis so temperature is plotted on x axis and emf is plotted along y axis and we will find the linear nature of the graph so here one has to again verify the room temperature so this graph will cut the x axis at certain temperature and this temperature is room temperature this is room temperature also one has to determine the temperature at 1.5 milli volt so let's say this is the reading for 1.5 emf so one has to draw the perpendicular on the graph and from that point one has to again draw a perpendicular on x axis so this will be the temperature which will give the temperature concerning to the emf which is 1.5 millivolt so turning towards the theory of this experiment so this experiment is concerned with the thermoelectric effect so one has to know what is thermoelectric effect th 
थर्मोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट सो इन दिस थर्मोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस इज रिकॉर्डेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ वोल्टेज दैट इज अ डीसी वोल्टेज और अ वाइस वसा सो दिस इफेक्ट इज नोन एज थर्मोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट देर आर थ्री थर्मोइलेक्ट्रिक इफेक्ट फर्स्ट इज सी बैक इफेक्ट सी बैक इफेक्ट सेकेंड वन इज पेल्टी आर इफेक्ट एंड थर्ड वन इज थॉम्सन इफेक्ट सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी the seebeck effect so here as the name of experiment is thermocouple one has to know what is a thermocouple thermocouple consist of two dissimilar metals forming the junction and when there is a temperature difference is maintained it will record the this temperature difference or change in temperature in terms of voltage and in case of seebeck effect we take the two dissimilar metals and one junction is kept at high temperature so this junction is no one may say that hot junction and another junction is maintained at low temperature so one can say that junction as a cold junction cold junction so as here at two junctions there are uh, there is a temperature difference and as the temperature at this junction is more as compared to this uh, cold junction so there will be motion of electron from hot junction to cold junction and this motion of electrons from hot junction to cold junction is registered by development of emf or voltage and that will be recorded here so this is nothing but the seebeck effect next effect is peltier effect so in case of peltier effect uh again we take two dissimilar metals and current is flown from one junction to another junction so as a result of flow of current uh heat is evolved at one junction and heat is absorbed at another junction and uh heat evolved or heat absorbed it depends upon the direction of current so this is nothing but the peltier effect so this is the peltier effect and next effect is thomson effect so in case of thomson effect the thomson effect is the linkage between seebeck effect and peltier effect or one may say that thomson effect is combination of seebeck effect and peltier effect so in case of seebeck uh, sorry thomson effect one takes the metal strip and one end of the metal strip is maintained at high temperature and another uh, end is at normal temperature and current is flown through one end to 
another end. So, in this uh, effect, as before flow of current, there is uh, some temperature difference is maintained, and after flowing the current, this metal strip will exchange its heat with the environment and maintains its temperature be, uh, difference before flow of current. So, this is nothing but the Thomson effect. So, here this is the setup of thermocouple experiment in which uh, this is the uh, B, uh, pot containing hot water and here is the cold water and this is the thermocouple in which two dissimilar metals are uh, connected and this is one junction which is dipped in the cold water and another junction is dipped into the hot water and this is the thermometer and the multimeter is connected to this th uh, the two ends uh, in between the two ends of the thermocouple. So here after uh, reaching to the 95 degrees Celsius uh, we will take the decreasing reading of temperature after each uh, 5 degrees Celsius of decrease of the temperature. Now here uh, the thermometer shows the 45 degrees Celsius and this multimeter shows the reading that is 0 0.5 millivolt. So after 5 degree decrease uh, that is at 40 degrees Celsius one has to take another reading and uh, we have to reach up to 30 degrees Celsius. So, this is the observation table for the thermocouple experiment in which uh, we will take the reading of temperature and concerning EMF in millivolt. So, after reaching 30 degrees Celsius, the EMF will be 0.4 millivolt and one has to plot this EMF and temperature as shown in this graph. So, EMF is plotted along y axis and temperature is plotted along x axis. So, this is this shows the linear nature of the graph and here this graph uh, touches the x axis at 30 degrees Celsius. So, this will be the room temperature and uh, one has to determine the temperature for 1.5 millivolt EMF. So, this is a 1.5 uh, reading for 1.5 millivolt EMF and I have drawn perpendicular up on this plot and again from this point I have drawn again next perpendicular to the x axis. So, this is this temperature is 66 degrees Celsius. So, results for this experiment are first one is room temperature was verified from experiment and next one is unknown temperature from graph is 66 degree Celsius.